me and my friend are doing this like we've been working on our chakras like each day and night and different and doing different things to like align our chakras so i am so sorry to myself for neglecting all the many ways that i get to experience financial Educate, meditate, better pave the way for new change. Where I'm ready to be a nudist. Like, if you don't feel comfortable in your own, like, naked, looking at your own naked body, it's like, actually, no, not even if you, it's like learning how to be comfortable with your own naked body, your own natural body with nothing. Um, and it's just like feeling good within that. So, period. Anyways, I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, and I had breakfast. So now let's get into this yoga and meditation. And to bring together this divine light, I'm just gonna put it in the center. Also, it's actually the day after, and look at what i just did she is so divine um if you don't know this is the symbol of the heart chakra i've been painting on my chakras and we were like whatever we feel called to do exercises of whatever we feel called to for that chakra and for that day and so i just wanted to share that this video is going to be kind of like, I guess, clips throughout my week or throughout my day. Um, it might not make full sense, but that's okay because I feel like in this video, I'm kind of like channeling and like showing y'all really what I want to be channeling. Does that make sense? Like what I show is is what I'm channeling for the energy of this video. Does that make sense? Anyways, now we're in our heart chakra. Today is our day four. And then we're going to go on to our throat chakra, third eye, and then our crown chakra. And since we did our solar plex yesterday, it's giving very much that energy of like chilling, like reading all day. I just uploaded a new video. So period, if you're watching that, period. Um, and yeah, the sun is setting right now. I've been working on my video all day and... Um, channeling for my second account which i'm going to post on later so yeah let's let's continue with this heart chakra energy elevating and if you're on my instagram then you saw the intentions i put with this so period song i just got is i'm coming out of my cage and i'll be doing just fine kind of like it this way because i want it all period they didn't even want me to be alive to begin with they didn't even want to see me again in real life hey let's be honest make me out to be the bad person because i say i don't y'all ain't gonna see me again in real life but y'all didn't even want to see me again in real life crazy hey baby oh my gosh Okay, I have my headphones in, but y'all, I just came to the park 
and today's the day after so today we're doing our throat chakra me and my friend um if you're not on my instagram then you probably don't know have you do not have a clue about what i'm talking about but me and my divine friend literally period where we've been working on each chakra leading up to our crown chakra and also tomorrow is the full moon i have my socks on but i'm literally gonna take them off because oh my god are you kidding me this freaking grass is so freaky is literally giving grass and my soul is literally being set on fire right now because oh my fucking gosh are you kidding me also my outfit is just giving serving looks period oh my gosh i think an ant bit my thigh let me show y'all my outfit you might not be able to hear me but you also might i don't know um uh, one second i'm wearing this For our throat chakra heart chakra transitioning into our throat chakra blue and and green mixed together creating teal to speak our truth and i'm also wearing green and blue underwear literally this is literally this is literally life this is literally life love a freaking ladybug flying over my head i had a dream last night where i was just vibing with the ladybug i was just staring at the ladybug i saw another ladybug ladybug as i was walking outside the house literally period i went downstairs bag of 12 zucchinis which i was asking for zucchinis a week ago go downstairs today not just one not just two not just three 12 plus plus some rice plus some salmon which i don't even eat because i'm i'm vegetarian but i still got some salmon because don't judge how your blessings flow to you oh my god we're just vibing we're just vibing and there's people around me but honestly i, I don't really care like i'm just i'ma do me i'ma do me y'all know that saying with Nicki minaj and they probably think i'm crazy because they're like who the fuck is she talking to but i'm talking to y'all period as y'all should divine and it's so crazy because i feel like literally people wish that they can be this free oh my gosh the societal constructs that everyone gets put under like the, none of this is real bro i literally had an astral travel where i was staring at myself and i was like what the fuck and that was even that wasn't even on nothing so imagine like having a trip <sighs> if i already astral travel unintentionally healing wounds generational wounds through the astral realms i wish everyone can feel this divine and this free within their own lives like that is so sad there's like guys out here playing it's like a two dads and then their kids but the way that it's like like everyone is divine and everything is that everyone is everything and we are all one, we are all divine and sacred, regardless of what you look like, what you present, what you categorize yourself, we are all one, we are all sacred. But if you don't choose to see that, then that's your own problem because the universe has given every, every single person that chance to align. And if you don't choose that, then that's on you and you can't blame anyone else other than yourself. And that's the sad truth but also the most liberating thing you can do. Because of everything, the universe is always aligned. It's just a matter of time for humans to actually intertwine and come into the light of acknowledging the fact that we are all divine. There's no, there's literally no, like, oh my gosh. Bro, what? <sighs> I'm grateful there's people around. I was I was hoping for them to, there to be people around. Because I want people to see how free they can actually be. And that is like how it should be. 
Because we should all be free. Period. I just be on vibes, bruh. Literally, I wanted to bring a hula hoop, but I didn't have a hula hoop. But imagine having a hula hoop, playing with a hula hoop, rotating the hula hoop. Maybe someone will bring a hula hoop for me. And we can just enjoy this divine energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's amazing how when you start to elevate within yourself, You'll, you'll, the things you'll start to cultivate within your own life because you start to elevate and choose yourself. Literally, literally mind blowing. Also, isn't it crazy how ashamed we can all feel by the littlest things? Like, like, oh my gosh. Like, just by the way, like, like, there's so many times where I used to think about like the past where I would like cough in front of someone or sneeze or anything as all the crows are literally flowing that way, period. Like there's been times where I would do that and then instantly be like, oh my God, that, was, that probably sounded so weird. That probably was like internal judgment for myself when realistically uh, uh, people around me did not give a fuck. And even if they did give a fuck that I did a certain thing that that's not people I should be around because they don't value you internally period like when people laugh for someone like falling or tripping even if it's your friends like like it may be funny but there's a certain like it is not that funny it was never that serious it was never that serious like what the expectations we not only put in on ourselves but onto each other like how we look when we're running if we're overweight or like right now if i wanted to i can be i can be judging myself for the way that this looks because that used to be one of my insecurities but now it's like i could be judging myself for the way that my body just creases right here for its natural self its natural being but like we are humans we are existing what why hide what's up why hide who we naturally are just for the comfort of what expectations we hold ourselves to like bro that's crazy we are all just living and growing and that is so divine What, bro? That is so divine. Literally just immersing in this energy of love. The expectations that parents put on little kids just because of their own conditionings, bro. Let them live think back to when you was a kid all you wanted to do was literally forgive oh my god literally forgive the conditionings we set ourselves to and project onto people and the ones that we love the most creating conditional love so do we even love them the most like what like what let's keep it a book my phone's at 12%, so I don't know how long I'm going to record, but this is my food. I have some rice at the bottom, some zucchini, some salmon, and some lemon. Like what? Let's keep it a fuck. Ooh, give thanks for this divine food. Give thanks for this divine food. That's spiritually aligned Spiritually aligned Like a line So divine Yes, my hands were touching the grass So what? Like what? Let's keep it a book Our ancestors used to shit in this grass It's the same grass that we sit on Like what? Like what? Let's keep it a book
the, evo- the, the evolution I've had within myself, bro, like, I, I would be scared to even talk right now, like, because I'd be like, like, what the fuck, like, people are going to think I'm crazy. So what? Let them think I'm crazy. And what? Like, what? Let's keep it a book. <laughs> oh, thank you, ancestors. Thank you to this fish, this salmon that had to go through rebirths and deaths just so that I can survive. Wow, just so that I can be nourished and alive. Give thanks for all the nutrients that you ate, that you carried, everything you went through. What's up? Um, period. Yeah. Everything is just so divine and aligned. The flavors are melting in my tongue. Period. Give thanks for this rice. How do you even grow rice? Oh my god, love the bee. Bro. Oh my gosh. I just finished my yoga once I was when I was at home. I finished my yoga. I cleaned my entire room and my bathroom. Give thanks for today. Give thanks for another day. And the people that I just spent and the people that I get to celebrate this life with. Oh my gosh. Even if they don't get where I'm coming from. Give thanks that I get to cherish this life and be an example for these people to cherish their own lives. Wow. Give thanks for these shamanic roots that I am being being awakened to. Period. Sending prayers to this divine salmon for all your nutrients. Give thanks to nourish our body, nurture our body, love our body. Give thanks for all this nourishment that I know my body was missing. And for this salmon, like, I get to now replenish my energy, replenish all the vitamins that I need from this being. Give thanks. Okay, this is my first time having salmon since I went vegan. What is coming on? We're gonna go tonight. Thank you, water. Ooh, you are so divine. Period. Shining, the weather is sweet. Make you wanna move your dancing feet. Ten percent, ten percent. Let's get it. Ten percent. Let's get it. Ten percent. Ten percent.
I think it might need more water. Let me get more water. And some water for me. Some water for the day, homies. <laughs> I don't got no dead homies. What am I talking about? My ancestors. <laughs> Gotta mix up the potion. I'm going to walk because it's rainy and it's pretty cold outside. Actually, it's not that cold, but it's like fresh. And I went to the park yesterday, as y'all saw. And literally, like, walk right now. Just sounds so cleansing. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You ever wake up and you're like, I am so beautiful. Like, I'm really that bitch. Like, the energy, the majest the majesticness within me. Um, I just heard brush your teeth like you love yourself. Do things like you love yourself. Someone that loves me would not be brushing my teeth hard as fuck. <laughs> My cat's outside. Brush your hair like you love yourself. <laughs> As I say that, I'm like, wow, like, uh, like, we try to do things so fast and so rushed when there's no rush. 